What's up, peoples? Give me a minute, man. I'm going to get right with y'all, man. Let me move this around real fast, man. We got a special guest tonight, my man Juice, man. Juice going to give it to y'all. B4 in the building. B4, we got a special guest, man. Don't go nowhere. Yes, sir. Let me just get this work out there, you know what I'm saying? Special guest, my man Juice in the building. Alright, what's up everybody? Before I see you, baby. Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? Let me give my shout outs before I bring out the set our special guests. Uh, first thing first, shout out to Noah Parker. He went to LA. He went to take care of some business with his boy. I think they're gonna catch a game out there while they're out there. Justin used tied up working. So it's only me today, but I got a special guest today. I, I don't want to miss the special guest. Shout out to the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Cali, New York City, Chi-Town, Minnesota, the D, and LES to the motherfucking death, man. Shout out to Syndicate Radio TV, my boy Dino. You know what time it is, Vegas Divots with Holly Hot Wheels. Shout out to Dwayne Beeman. Matter of fact, I'm going to kick some Beeman shit right after this. And also, uh, a happy birthday to my man Omar and my man Gary. And also, shout out to Tony Sports. I told y'all, y'all need somebody to talk to? Tony Sports is your guy. He's a handicapper. He'll educate you on sports. Tony Sports, like I said, man, he's very smart. He knows his shit. Hit him up at armhorse at msn.com. Armhorse at msn.com. Tony Sports is the real deal. Also, Credit Fix, never too late to fix your credit. IG me, inbox me, or hit me up on my email, al.newyork at yahoo.com, al.newyork at yahoo.com. So before I bring my special guest, let me uh, introduce you uh, on November 16th, my boy Dwayne Beeman, Mr. Stop Running, 16, 2, and 2. He should be 17, 1, and 2, but they robbed him on one of the fights. Versus Marvin Solano, who's 22 and 4, with eight KOs. They're having the WBC Continental title in Orlando, Florida. I'll give y'all more updates on what time the fight is coming on on the next show. I might even go live with him Monday. Dwayne Beeman. Keep him in sight. Now, to bring in my special guest, yo, Juice. Come on in, man. What's happening? What's happening? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's this good? my man Juice right here, man. And y'all gonna learn a little about Juice. I'm gonna have a few questions for him. Juice, before we get started, let the peoples know a little bit about yourself, man. Move in a little bit so they can see you a little better. Ah, uh, shit, man. I'm a yeah, Cali boy, man. I'm from Southeast Dago. And uh, I played ball. Started out in Texas. And then I transferred over to UC Riverside and played Division One over there for a couple years. And came out to Vegas. I've been out here for about 12 years now. Oh, you answered my next question. I was yeah. going to be, how long was you in Vegas? Yeah, I've been out here. I've been out here uh, 12 years now, pushing strong. Love my man it. said B4. He said welcome. Oh, what up, what up, what up, it's what up, good B4? Dude. Die hard, die hard dude right there. I love What's B4. Happening? What's happening? Yeah, so uh, besides gambling, Juice, what other, like, expertise you have? I know you have a few expertise. Oh, yeah. I know you're oh, a yeah. very talented individual. Oh, yeah. Explain it, um, oh, yeah. what you do besides gambling. Shit, my background and, and what I'm passionate about is the mind and then, and, uh, Psychology, so that's what I studied in school. Nice. I took that up here, and then I I got into timeshares. So I was in sales. Yeah, that's when I seen you at the yeah. timeshares. You was yeah. killing them over there. Yeah, yeah, I was I was doing well, and then they they gave me a team of like thirty people. So I so you control before. thirty people. That's right. Holly Hot Wheels, I see you, baby. That's right. That's right. That's what's up, man. That's right. You man. ran he ran thirty people. Yes, that's, that's, that's right. That's it. Um, how long you been wagering in sports? Shit, legally, <laughs> since I came out here, but, man, my dad was, you know, been around it, so I've been playing wagers and little parlay since I was 12 years old, man. But, Damn, son. Yeah, man. You old right now? Huh? You one of them persons you mind saying your age? I'm 33, man. Oh, you a baby, man. 33. Damn, dog, you a baby. I thought you was older than that, man. No, no. Um, 
I came up with the name for you, the dog catcher, <laughs> which I know you don't really like. You said yeah. it's too long. Yeah. But the reason for giving you that name, I don't seen you myself before a fucking game give out an underdog at plus seven, plus six mm. on the money line and hit it on numerous occasions. That's why you want to spot here with me because mm. I'm not going to bring anybody on the Al York Sports Show. So you earned this. You didn't, I didn't look out for you. You yeah. earned this right to get on it. That. Explain to the peoples if there's anything that you're doing different than the average gambler. Because I've seen you hit more money lines on underdogs than a motherfucker with an underdog with the spread hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's basically, see, a lot of people get tied into being a fan. Right. And they just want to bet. And yeah, through the years of losing hundreds and thousands of dollars, Basically, and right. the only way you learn is if you lose. Yeah, I told I, I told yeah, him a long time ago. You yeah, have to take a beating yeah. before you learn how to win. That's There's it. no way around it. That's it. Because if, if somebody else tell you something, you don't want to listen to them. You want to learn your way. Mm -hmm. You want to lose your way, mm -hmm. and that's the right way to lose. Because that's the only way you're gonna lose because it's your money. Yep. And I did that long enough to where I realized, man, sports is all about storytelling. There you go. It's all about storytelling. Talk to him, baby. That's it. It's all about storytelling. And the book I already wrote. The book is already wrote. By the way, he had the Nationals with me. Mm -hmm. He actually was one of the first ones to mention it because, you know, he's one of those types. While a series still going on, he's already calling the next series. Yeah. But he know I like the Nationals to win it all because, you know, we kind of know mm -hmm. how Vegas works a little and mm -hmm. too many motherfuckers was on the Houston That's Nationals. Right. That's right. But when you show me that $500,000 ticket but to win, what was it, 1.5? 1. 1.5. 1. I already knew. Yeah. The Nationals had to win they some way, to. somehow. They gave out too Some much. way, somehow. Too much, too much. Exactly. Now, um, one more thing. Uh, you are a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Yeah. Have you been one all your life? Yeah, because um, my people are actually from PA. Okay. So I was I was born that way. I was I, was, I go Still there every curtain. year. Yeah. Still curtain? Still curtain. Franco Cam and Gidry, I'll see you, baby. Franco Harris, Terry Bradshaw, oh, Joe Green, all of them. Jack Lambert. Yeah, Larry Swan. Um, Louis Lips. Yeah. Star Wolf. Swan. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's right. Like you said, Terry Bradshaw, Franco Harris. Mm -hmm. Did we miss anybody? Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe Green. Mm -hmm. Yo, he, him, two old friends of mine. Felix Giacino, always been a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I think Picaro has been a Pittsburgh, and my old friend Donald O'Brien since little kids always loved the Steelers with Walter Abercrombie. I can bring it back to there. Yeah, Remember yeah. Abercrombie? That's right. Yeah, so um, real fast, before we move to the next subject, uh, anything you want to say, uh, anything you want to add on, or anything, anything that's on your mind before we hit some topics, man? Oh, no, basically just to, just to finish off what you asked me on what I do now or what I'm right. doing or differently as far as being successful in the book when I can. Right. Just just finding my spots, man. Just slow down a little bit. Pick your spots. Whatever line don't make sense, that's the one I'm on. That's the one I'm on. Like last week we were talking about the Chargers. Right, the right. The Chargers, I mean, you got you got Aaron Rodgers laying six the week before and he covers on the road against the Chiefs. <laughs> now he's only minus three and a half on the road against the weak ass Chargers. Who don't have a home fan base. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So it made no sense. So we was all over that one. Douglas Bender, let me That's tell it. you how this went. I went to the book a little after game one. Chargers played the second game. First thing he tells me is, Al, what's up? I got a dog for you. Just like that. I said, who's your team? He said, Chargers money line. And I'm not going to lie for him. He know I'm not going to lie. No. I told him specifically after calling the Astros, uh, not the Astros, the Nationals on a couple of games. And when he hit that, I said, I got to get you on the show, dog. Oh, yeah. We were going to do behind the scenes at the yeah. book, yeah. but we decided to take it to the lab. And I appreciate that you made time to come out here because I know you're a busy individual. Hello. Hello. Okay, so much props to Juice, a.k.a. what y'all call him, the dog catcher. Okay, now we're going to go to college basketball. A couple of days ago, college basketball opened up. I'm going to give you the top 10 ranked teams. Uh, we're going to have some questions pop up. So what we do, we'll deal sure. with the questions. Miss Tanya Powell, how you doing? This is my man, Juice. He's a, he's a guest on the show. That's one of real loyal ladies, too, on my show. Cool, cool. Uh, Michigan State was number one. 
Kentucky 2, mm -hmm. Kansas 3, Duke 4, Louisville 5, Florida 6, Maryland 7, Gonzaga 8, North Carolina 9, Villanova 10. Now, this is going to move because Kentucky beat Michigan State mm -hmm. the other day. That's right. But as far as college basketball, we, we don't really have much. Like I said, there's no preseason. You kind of have to buy a magazine to follow up on who got who. Mm -hmm. But right now, who's your sleeper to make noise in college basketball? Not to win it all because it's too early for that. I'm not going to put you on the spot like that. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you who you think is going to make noise. Yeah, I mean, I... I I'd probably go to North my boy Carolina. Like, yeah, my boy just said Tar Heels. I'd probably go to North Carolina. He just read your pushing, mind before he didn't even see it. They pushing Cole. They pushing Cole Anthony pretty tough over there. Right. That's the kid that dropped like Trey Ford yeah, the other day, right? Yeah, he went off yesterday, but he did take a lot of shots. Right, so, right, so, right. So, you know, he's one of them. So, so, his, uh, so he gun and guts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gun and hot, guts. Hot dog. Bad percentage. I, I didn't see too much, but I saw James couple, Harden. Oh yeah, two for sixteen yeah, on three to so, still get thirty six points. That's right. With How the fouls? fuck is that possible? How you go two for sixteen on three and still drop thirty six hey, points? It goes back to what I'm saying. It's a story. Right, right. Story. Douglas Bender likes Villanova. Douglas Bender, not for nothing. The other day, somebody asked me if I had a college basketball team. I really don't have a real college basketball team, but if I did have one, it is the Villanova Wildcats. I mean, mm -hmm. they just did a lot for me not to like them. Okay, so now we're moving on from college basketball. We're going to go to the New York Yankees, a, a conversation that uh, a lot of my peoples are going to definitely want to know about. What I think what we need to do to win it all, we have to get an ace. I've been saying that all year long. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to run through the rotation as of right now, which ain't bad. Mm -hmm. We got Luis Severino. When healthy, he's as good as anybody. Mm -hmm. Masariho Tanaka. Tanaka, y'all know playoffs, he steps up. He might not have the best record. Come playoff time, he's a beast. Mm -hmm. James Paxson, who's decent. He can go up and down, but he had a 15-6 and six season, 3.82, which ain't too Two overpowering, but he went 15 and 6. J.A. Happ is a guy that can eat innings for you during a regular season playoff. You put him in the bullpen or take him off the roster. Domingo Haman, who we did not have during the playoffs, right. was 18 and 4 for us. Now, I'm still not going to say he's an ace, but he's definitely at no less than a game three, game four guy you can give the ball to. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Jordan Montgomery, a big lefty that was hurt all season long. So now you take this rotation and you add a Garrett Cole. And you might go, why would you add a Garrett Cole? Well, we got money for Garrett Cole. When CeCe's off at 8 M's, because last year he made he 8 M's, the, uh, Didi Gregorius was making 11.8. That was a tough non-signing because he's worth every penny of that. But I think he wants about 20 M's a year. We don't need to give him that while having Andujar and Gleyball Torres waiting Especially Gleyber, who already had a big year. Right. Uh, Edwin and Canacio kind of stole money, 8.6 from us. And last but not least, Brett Garner at 7.5. Now, I don't know if we resigned Brett. From my last understanding, we didn't. Right here, we unleashing about 33 M's. That's enough right there to go get Garrett Cole. And that's one season. So, I think we could get a Garrett Cole for five seasons, maybe averaging between 30 to 35 M's. Because he's going to ask for that money. Yeah, he gonna get it. Your take on that real fast. He he gonna get it, but uh, I mean, he might want to go to California A and get the forty piece. You think he want the forty piece? No fry. Why? Let me ask you something. <laughs> the forty piece sound beautiful, mm -hmm. but you're not gonna win over there at all. I don't care if you went to Fresco. That's his other spot because he's got a sister in law. That messes with Crawford, That's some right. shit like that. Or yeah, he's yeah, banging yeah, out yeah, one of yeah, some, some story like shit. that. These guys got too many holes to fulfill. Mm -hmm. But if you go into pinstripes, you're going right to the Destined chip. Destined for greatness. You're going right to the chip. Because with what we got, not to mention I, I'm big on trading John Carlos Stanton for a bat and some middle relief. We don't need Judge in him. And I think a perfect fit for Carlos Stanton would be the St. Louis Cardinals, who can offer us a bat and some relievers. Because they got That's decent right. relievers. They got good for them. You know, and I think he'll shine back in the National League yeah. because we were able to see that he couldn't make the adjustment in the American League. Mm 
Mm-hmm. But I think in the National League, he'll tear it up like he did with the fishing company because right. he tore it up for the Marlins. Right. Okay, so if y'all got any questions on the Yankees situation, let me know before we close this topic. Anything else you might want to add as a Yankee? Man, they just got to get go get a good pitcher. They got to go get that A. So you think we cover with the heading, middle relief? We just re-signed Chapman, so that's great. Got the youth. Yeah, we got the youth. The bats. Okay. All they need is a pitcher that can go the distance. That's yeah. It. That's it. Yeah, uh, Noah's on a baseball game. Brian, or oh, oh, not baseball game. He's going to a basketball game tomorrow in L.A. He's with his people, so he couldn't come today. But he'll be back next week. But my special guest, trust me, man, the kid's a beast, man. We will hold it down for the day. But Noah will be back real quick next week. Okay, so that's, that's all you got to say about the baseball then. Okay, we're going to make that short and simple. Now we're going to the NFL. Power ranking. I'm going to go to you first, Juice. Give me the t- top five best teams, and I want you to give me a real quick explanation why. Give me two words. Okay. You start, then I'll get out, end it up. Not ranking it one through five, just off the top of the head. Uh, no, get, get an order. Okay. Cause I got, you want me to start my order first? Go ahead. Sir. Okay. My fifth best NFL team right now is the Green Bay Packers at seven and two. They had a horrible showing in um, L.A. last week. I don't even know how I put them top five after seeing that. But me knowing Aaron Rodgers and company, they will be back. They might even spank the Panthers this week, where a lot of people taking them points with the Panthers. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers and company is number five. My fourth best NFL team right now, power ranking, would be the Baltimore Ravens with Lamar Jackson and company. Uh, ground and pound, bro. That's it. These guys is animals. The dogs on and Lavar is showing uh, Lamar. Lamar is showing that he belongs in the NFL. We gonna go, we gonna tap into that later on. Mm-hmm. My number three team is the New Orleans Saints. Who that at seven and one, five and zero oh without Breeze. The bridge may took him took five and zero. Oh. G Santana, I see you, baby. Now you bring in the captain of the ship. You bring in Breeze. You automatically become better. Let's. Believe it or not, he's way better than Bridge. Not that Bridge is bad, mm-hmm. but Breeze is a better fit for the team, especially him being there forever. Uh, I'm going to use your word. Uncle Tom will be number two. That's right. New England Patriots are the second best team. And the best team right now, from what I've been seeing and acknowledging, are the San Francisco 49ers at 8-0. They got that tough defense. And the scary thing is that Jimmy Grunopolo – Jimmy G hasn't even played to his potential yet, and they're 8-0. and Your take on your five before we start breaking it down. I think uh, I'd agree with you on the number one because, obviously, they're the only team that's undefeated. Yeah, but you, but I'm not saying I like them because they're undefeated. I just think they're the best team. They could have had one loss, and I probably would have still yeah. took them number one. Yeah, they, 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 got a, they got a good team. They got a great defense. So... Obviously, offense Breezy. wins games. Offense wins games. Defense wins championships. So hold on, hold up, my man, George Santana, big Steeler fan. That's right. That's Show right. all up. Hey, Steeler Steeler Nation. Nation. Terrible towers. Steeler Nation. Terrible towers. That's right. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, Steelers. Yeah, baby. Um, but I would go with the Niners first, and then I follow up Uncle Tom number two. Right, right. Uncle Tom number two, just a veteran. Just he just knows how to win games in, in big moments. And uh, number three. Mm, I'm with you with Breeze. I'm with you with Breeze. I think I think Breeze gonna get uh, the Niners late when it count. Um, right, I and really I, it's do. not only Breeze. It's what everybody done without mm-hmm. Breeze. That's right. It was very impressive mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, keep it rocking. Yeah. And uh, I would go with Action Jackson. I would agree with you in the fourth one because he's new. He's fresh. Nobody can. Nobody can. Nobody can T-Pain. handle him. Nobody can can keep up with his ground and pound, baby. That's it. And then number five, I know he's the best in the business, in my opinion, but I just can't go with the Packers. I got to go with a wild card. I'm going to go with someone like Seattle, there you the go. MVP. There you go. I'm going to go with the MVP uh, for my go. wild card. I ain't mad at you. I'm going to go with my wild card MVP, uh, Mr. Russell. I ain't, mad. I ain't mad at you. You got a solid five. I'm pretty sure I got a solid five. Now, now the Al York Sports Show, we're going to put you on the spot. Mm-hmm. My people's love when I put people on the spot. Who wins it all? Look right at them when you say it, too. Look okay. convincing. I'm thinking. Don't I'm give thinking, them a team and you looking I'm over thinking, there. Look I'm dead thinking. at them. Let me say, uh, I'm going to say. And it's kind of early, so I'm putting my man on the spot. 
It's like really early to call it right now because injuries, I got et cetera. You. They, they, they ain't putting no stories out there for me yet to start picking it apart. But the New Orleans Saints is your, is your NFL champs this year. New Orleans Saints, they're going to win it all. Well, look, for y'all know I ain't lying, I got it right in my paper. If y'all can read it, I got Saints to win it all. New Orleans Saints. I got the Saints to win. I just feel like the Bridgewater situation, what happened last year, that falls under your storyline shit. Mm-hmm. And I just think they're a lot better on defense. They can get teams off the field this year. They got a veteran. Yep. They got Rob last year. Yep. They're going to talk about how the refs, how they're going to come into play, and they're going to get rewarded today. That's what I'm thinking. They're I'm thinking they're going to get rewarded for what happened last year. Not mm-hmm. only that, they just a good team. And look, it, I got the hat on, so you know I ain't bullshitting. I'm mad you picked my team, though, because now I feel like, you know, <laughs> like I'm riding with you, but um, no. you know what? It was a great thing. My man Douglas Bender said, uh, Eagles number one, Eagles number two. I don't know. You're losing me there, brother. Oh, he love the Eagles. He from PA? Yeah, yeah. He definitely, he got to be from PA. Let me see some questions here. Big man, you want to see if you see some questions? Just stroll up. Okay, let me see what we got. Yeah. Now let's see a fan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's got the list. See if there's any questions there. Let's see. Really, no. My money is with the Patriots. Can't wait. Okay, that's about it. Okay. Okay, so now... We're going to go stay in the NFL. Nick Foles is back for the Jaguars. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gartner Minchu actually didn't quarterback bad. He had 13 touchdown, four picks for 2,300 yards. His QBR was 24th at 46, but he had a horrible performance in London. Oh, man. Two fumbles, two interceptions. That, that knocked him out. Trust. Real fast because, you know, it's just the Jaguars – what do you think about Nick Foles coming in behind the helm to run the organization? Elite defense. He knows how to win. He comes from a winning program as far as the Eagles. So he's going to just jump right in that program, and they're going to they gonna get going. They're going to get going right away, you get think? They're going to get going. He knows how to win. He knows how to win. He knows how to win. You get him in a close game, Nick Foles he's, knows he's how to win. He's made me a lot of money as a big dog. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're going to Carolina. Cam Newton out for the year. I don't think it mattered. I think Cal Allen was going to be the quarterback regardless. Mm -hmm. Two things from this situation. Uh, Before I go to where you think Cam will end up at, because I think he's out. He knows he wasn't going to be the man. And let me give you all some uh, statistics real fast. Cam Newton's 0-7 in his last seven games. Cal Allen is 6-1 in his last seven uh, seven games. He was 1-0 last year, 5-1 this year. You do the math, Kyle Allen's the guy. They playing better without him, uh, without Cam. They playing with a certain different energy, although they went to Frisco and got shellacked. Mm-hmm. But that was their wake-up call. That's right. My thing to you is, there's a couple shooters for Cam services. You got the Broncos, Bears, and the Fins. Who you think picks up Cam Norton and why? He's going, he going to the shot. No question. Where you going, Shy Town? Shy Town. So Trubisky's definitely over. Oh, he's because he's my done. man Noah Parker said he was over. They yeah, done like, with him. No mas. So no mas. No even mas. though he lit him up last year. No mas. What is it? He can't throw the ball downfield, right? He's like, he's ten and under. Take him on the under. <laughs> under. My man Joe Santana said the Jets could use Cam, but what do you do with Sam Donald? Yeah. I mean, I know he's seen ghosts as G, but you got to run with Donald. Uh, Cam Dunn. He got flagged. Yeah, on. Tanya, I think the Broncos got the best shot for him, but a lot of people saying the Bears. The Bears are the tired of Trubinsky, and they are going to go hard to Cam Newton. They really are. Doug has been the same defense. Okay, anything else you want to add on? No, I think I think uh, Chicago got a great D. They just need just a different feel, different feel for as far as a quarterback, different offense, different threat. Right. And I think Cam, Cam would be the What's happening to the Bears is what happened to the Jaguars when, when uh, what's his name, Boyles? Boros. Blake Bortles. Bortles. Blake Bortles. When Blake Bortles. See, this is what happens to defenses. Defense gets you, they get the team off the field. Mm-hmm. The offense comes on. Mm-hmm. You get a quick pick or you get a fumble or a three and out. Mm-hmm. You do that throughout the, the duration of a game. Mm-hmm. The defense is tired, man. Mm-hmm. And not only that, they don't have that fight. Because you're not moving the chains. That's, right. that's why Blake Bortles is ghost. Mm-hmm. And that's what's happening with Trubisky. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, their defense is starting to get exposed because they're getting tired in shy time. You see, when last year, yeah. when he was moving the chains, their defense was top five. That check down shit was working. Yes, yes. It ain't working no more. It ain't working no more. Mm -mm. And not only that, like I said, the more the defense is on the field, the more tired they get, the more they become to be becoming exposed. Mm -hmm. But when the offense is moving the chains via Peyton Manning, via Tom Brady, Brady. Drew Brees, your defense can rest and rest this big at the end of the game. Right. You know and I know because you can get to the quarterback late in the That's game. Right. They look tired as fuck out there, bro. Mac, I haven't even heard Mac's name the last couple because they mm -hmm. double teaming him. He's tired, yeah. etc. Right. So you know what? Trubisky's got to get the fuck out of there, man. Uh, uh, all right, so we boys. done. Any questions? Let's talk about them boys first play, huh? Okay. Um, boys. How about them Cowboys, baby? <laughs> I was supposed to say that at the beginning of the show. I'm glad you reminded me. Now, everybody's going to say we keep beating up on teams that are below average. Mm -hmm. We beat the Giants twice, below average. We beat the Finns, below average. Lost to the Packers, who was a decent team. Lost to the Saints, which was a decent team. Mm -hmm. The only team I think we beat that of, of any any the props is the Eagles. Mm -hmm. And I would say the Eagles, because the Eagles normally play the Cowboys tough. Strong, yeah. They know you know what I mean? But my thing is, what do the Cowboys have to do to get people's respect? Like, what do we got to do, dog? We lead in the division. It ain't our fault, them, game, them, them games you're serving us in front of us. Look in New England. They had a cake schedule, too. Get to the NFC Championship. So, you want that? That's it. And you get respect. Uh, my thing is that. Scoop B, my boy Scoop. What up, Scoop? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I tagged Big Man. Yeah, we here. I know you surprised yeah. there, Big Man. Yeah. Yeah, so so the Cowboys, the only way they can impress you is to get to the NFC. Ch to me, I want to see Dak win at least a round or two. Just give me past the first round, big dog. That's what I'm saying. That's it. Get me past. I mean, I might want a second round, too, this time. Yeah, but not the wild card. Don't get the bye, and then that don't count. Right, 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 wild right. Wild card and get to the NFC Championship or semis or something, man. Yeah. because it's something. It's like the Yankees lately. The Yankees mm -hmm. can win a series, but then they can't get to that, to the World Series. Mm -hmm. But this is a little different because they can't even get to the conference finals. Mm -hmm. Peace the bottle. What up, baby? So... Oh man, I I don't even know where to go with it. But you know what? Any last any last word in? No, 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 we good, we good. That's it? That's it. Okay, now we're gonna move on to another topic, which I can't wait to hear what he gotta say about mm -hmm. this. Team from his division mm -hmm. that he knows is doing a thing. My question to you, I already know the Baltimore Ravens are for real. They beat the Super Bowl champs and manhandled them this Sunday night. Embarrassing. My thing to you is can they continue? This style of play for the I'm pretty sure they could do it for the rest of the season, but could it carry on for a couple years? My say is no. And I'm explaining you after you answer it, mm -hmm. but I want I want to hear what you gotta say first. Mm -hmm. All right, well listen. Man. Lamar Jackson and company. One thing I learned in sports is everything got a shelf life. And it's it's gonna expire sooner or later. We were just talking about Trubisky. Yep. I mean, last year that check down shit was working. This year. Remember the Wildcat worked for a little that while? That shit worked too. Remember the Wildcat? Now that shit look crazy and they talk about what kind of play is that. <laughs> so, so that's what's going to happen to Action Jackson. I mean, that boy Bilicek over there going to make sure he's going to make them adjustments throughout the year or however long it takes and they're going to figure out how to stop it. So take advantage of it now. Dope, but and, they punishing cats. Oh, man. yeah, they handling them. They now. got some big dudes there. They, 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 they Yeah, they, uh, they drafted some big boys up front. What I like about what Harbaugh did. What a lot of coaches need to take a page from here, Juice, is you got to play to these quarterback strengths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the guy that um that Denver had last year that he played in Minnesota and had a great year? Um, um, he's in the Redskins right now. I always forget his name. It starts with a K. Kurt, no, no, no. Damn, what's that kid's name, man? Shit, I can't get it. Anyway, when they play to his strengths in Minnesota, he was one game from the conference finals. Mm -hmm. So as soon as he left Minnesota and went to Denver with the brother coach, the brother coach didn't play to his strengths, and he was exposed. Mm -hmm. Horrible year. You still can't get his name? I'm trying to come up Jesus, I can't get his name right now. I got his face right here. But anyway, if any of y'all guys got his name, just shout it out. Uh, but the moral of the story is when coaches play, 
to player's strength is when the player got the best advantage to succeed. That's right. That's why Le Lamar Jackson is succeeding because that whole offense is around what he does best. My thing is, eventually, after the teams get video on them, they're going to put nine in the box. But he got, he got an arm, though. No, I know he's got an arm. But can he be consistent? Can he hit, hit them little loopers that Kaepernick couldn't hit a few years ago? Kaepernick could. He just thought no, he could outrun them. No, but the thing with Cap, he threw too many lines yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't know how to split so, defenders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think LeBron is a little better than him, but he's not sharp at it. Mm -hmm. Now, we yet to see what's going to happen. I'm going to predict that his game is going to take a big hit once they get more video on what they're doing. Well, they got to throw some different defenses at him to, 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 to fuck with his IQ, to see how right. good his IQ really is. And uh, once that happens, we're going to see how good he is after that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, what I like is IQ. I think he's a very smart player. He's gutsy. Mm -hmm. But I don't see RG3 get hurt doing that. Michael Vick with the Eagles. Shelf life. Expired. It's a short life. <laughs> and I hope whoever Baltimore got as a backup is somebody that can fulfill and sustain and run that type of offense. Tailored to that offense. Because, my man, if they don't, they're going to be bounced out immediately. They're gonna be so like every sister. play that Lamar Jackson runs, they like praying he doesn't get hurt. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I know right now he's avoiding those hits. Michael Vick did that. Mm -hmm. But after a while, though, they're going to start They gonna start hitting them, and that's when we're going to learn a lot about he Lamar. He's a little bigger, though. He's like 6'4", though. Michael Vick he's is 5'11", 6'0". I know, but he's slim. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. them linebackers coming in full-fledged, though. Like, I could see Mac running into him, like, mm. or Aaron Donald, you know what I'm saying? And Shit, putting his lights Watt. out. Little baby T.J. Yeah, Watt. Yeah, yeah, T.J. Watts, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, basically, what you're saying is what I'm saying mm -hmm. is that uh, it's not going to last long. Let me give you mm -hmm. some Lamar Jackson numbers for this year. 12 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, 1,800 yards which is not bad, 99 rushes for 600 and change and five touchdowns. So he's killing them with the dual aspect, which we expect. Mm -hmm. But he's got to throw the ball a little more to last longer in the league, bro. Definitely, definitely. Okay, now uh, another news, man. Uh, let me see if we got any questions. We don't got no questions today. Everybody's just like, okay, my man Douglas Bender said Kurt. No, it's not Kurt. It's the quarterback from the Redskins that he was in Minnesota. Then he went, uh, where he went to from Minnesota? He went he to uh, Denver. Denver, and then he said Redskins? Yeah, then he went to the Redskins. Uh, Case Keenum. Case, Case Keenum. Case Keenum. That's the guy I'm talking Houston. about. There you go. Yeah, number seven. When they, when they played to his strengths in Minnesota, guy was an all-star. Mm -hmm. Perfect example. Coaches got to start playing to these quarterback strengths because if they don't, it's going to be a long season like what's, what happened with Denver – when Case Keenan went to Denver. Okay, real fast. I heard you say MVP earlier. Mm -hmm. Russell Wilson. That's right. Unanimous. Oh, yeah. Let me give you his numbers. I mean, did you see his numbers? He elite. 22 touchdowns. One pick. 2,500 yards passing. 78.5 QBR, which is first. I love this dude, man. This dude just got a big-ass contract. And is already living up to his contract. Now, Baldwin retired. Mm -hmm. Locke is kind of their main man. Mm -hmm. They picked up the rookie Metcalf, who I think is huge. Mm -hmm. And now you just add Josh Gordon into the mix. Juice. A monster. Juice, talk to him, Juice. A monster, man. Juice, talk to him, please. Hey, man, he can play for anybody. It don't matter. He get in any program. And then you put the MVP out there. Oh, man, it's curtains. It's curtains. Yeah, Metcalf going over the top. Matt, yo, first time ever I seen Russell Wilson have big receivers. Because if you remember, he had Tate, who was little, Baldwin, who was little, mm -hmm. and Lockett. But they all super tough, though. Yeah. But they little, though. But Gordon a dog. Gordon and Metcalf is a dog. He feel like a linebacker. I'm telling you, the only thing with Josh Gordon is whenever New England releases a player, something. they know something... <laughs> We don't know. It's trouble. Yeah. Now, I'm hoping it's because they didn't want to risk in case Jordan decided to smoke the trees again. What happened last year late, 
that they didn't want to have to go through that. That's why they went and read up and restacked with mm -hmm. Muhammad Sanu. Okay, but I'm thinking like if they knew that, if they thought that, they would have never signed him to begin with. No, but they gave him a chance like yeah. everybody else. But then he fucked up when he got yeah. high because he turned himself in because mm -hmm. he knew they were going to catch him. Get him. Yeah, so he just made it look good and said, oh, I'm going to turn in. That <laughs> shit was going to come up in the piss anyway. Yeah. But my thing is, if he can stay sober, Russell Wilson, yo, dog, you add Josh Gordon into that mix, the way he's throwing that football this year, yo, they might be the fucking 49ers on Monday night. That's what I'm telling you. Don't sleep bullshitting. on that Monday night. I know my man Pete Sabato don't want to hear that. I know. A diehard 49er fan. I still think the 49ers could win the money line, but if I had a gun in my head, my old, my old saying, I'd take the, uh, the Seahawks with the points. Especially second half. Especially if I get seven. Yo, yeah. If I could get seven or the Niners are up early, second half Seahawks you know all what day. It is. All day. Mm -hmm. Okay, Josh Golden this year, not really productive. 26 reception, 287 yards, one touchdown for his career. 58 games, 240 receptions, 4,100 yards, 20 touchdowns, 17.1 average. But we know he's a dog when he's mm -hmm. on the field. Mm -hmm. The thing with Gordon is, can he stay he on change. the field? He just need change. That's all he needs. Okay, let's see if we got anything else. They're not asking no questions today. I'm very surprised. Yeah, uh, Rich, he is the MVP for now. No question about it. George Santana, it's Case Keenan. Good one with Alex Smith, but it's Case Keenan. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Yeah, Jews got to bounce. I see. Okay, all right, Douglas, take care. He's saying peace to you. You know who you right, are. You spoke to him. Which that's the security you? guard. The one that brought you to see the sign and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, the yeah, homie that's right the there. Okay, yeah, that's okay, the homie okay, right okay. there. You I know what I mean? The sign on the other side. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Okay, our next topic. The Los Angeles Chargers. Mm -hmm. I still have an issue. I don't know what to call them. Though. Yeah, I still have an issue calling them that. I mean, it's San Diego to the heart to me. <laughs> yeah, I, just don't know. I understand sometimes you got to make adjustments. They didn't really want to provide them with a new stadium. Sometimes you got to just do what you got to do to make your point. Mm -hmm. But it's not starting off good for the Chargers. Mm -hmm. Even though they split in the stadium with the Rams, like you said earlier, other teams are packing it up more than them, and they're, they're the, the home, home team. team. Yeah, so they like a road team. In their home mm -hmm. games. That shit wild. And I know that's kind of bugged out. Me personally, if I'm the Chargers, Phillip Rivers and company, I'll maybe try to get back to Diego, but they talk in London. <laughs> now, London, I can see why from a business aspect, they will sell out every yeah, game. No question. The thing is, can you make them fans overnight? Like, can you make them wear Charger gear? Overnight is my question. You, you can because, you know, they believe in that American dream shit or whatever. But at the end of the day, like, it's only a 16-game season. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I mean, this ain't the NBA where you got 80 games, you go over there right, and back right. and all that. But Oh, you think it's too early for them to be talking this shit? To me yeah. personally, you know what really fucked them up? It's one thing if you don't fill up the stands. Mm -hmm. It's another thing when you got all... Terrible towels in there, like me and you seen that day. I mean, it was all Pittsburgh fucking fans in that game. It was Thursday. sad. Third string. Yeah, we were there. <laughs> Only two guys taking the uh, the chart went on the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh that Steelers. night. Everybody was on the charges. Yeah. But Pittsburgh or uh, Pittsburgh's third string and Pittsburgh went in there and gave him a shellac. Gave him the blues. Yeah, gave him a shellac. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's that I, that I'm understanding is the Rams owner who signed the leash with the Chargers owner is willing to get him out of the contract. For a little kickback. For a little kickback, a little, some compensation. Mm -hmm. My thing is, do they want to leave Cali to go to London? Your last take before uh, we move on on that. Oh, I, I think that you running. You, you look like a coward if you leave the country, honestly. I mean, might as well go back to San Diego. Uh, if anything, right? Because you, you now you now it's getting wild. You go from you go from Dago up to L.A. Now you're gonna jump across. Go hold on, hold on, hold on. Piece of bottle said charges on it. Said blank. Fuck London. We're not going. Okay, yeah. that's a great point there. But I know they was really talking that London shit. Maybe the owner finally stepped up. 
Uh, basically, I don't think he wants to leave California. A lot of people don't. But they're trying to build that fan base again. Me, personally, I think they should figure out a way to get back to Diego. They got to. Because they are the San Diego Chargers. I mean, come on, man. Kellen Winslow, Charlie Joyner, Dan Fouts, John Jefferson. Right. Come on, man. Come on, Antonio Gates. Yeah. Go back to San Diego, man. You fucking that whole shit up. <laughs> yeah, what they supposed to do now when they have them ceremonies and all that? Go to fucking London? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do that to these cats. Go back to Diego. Mm -hmm. Do what you got to do and, and make it right for the Diego crowd because y'all kind of chunked out the people's like the Oakland Raiders are going to do to Oakland oh, yeah. by moving to Vegas. Oh, but I think this transition is going to be way better. Oh, it's turn up juice out here. Yeah. It's turn up. It's going to be way better. It's turn but up. at least at least the open people can move to Vegas. They can respect that. They, they, yeah, they migrate move, down here. Yeah, they can move in, you know, and get their little apartments going. Have reason to come out here and shit. That's all. Right, right, right. Okay, so uh, peace, uh, George Santana said, fuck, they can rent space in the polo grounds. Okay. Peace of bottle agrees San Diego is their home. Yeah, you got to bring them back to San Diego I hate saying the L.A. Rams. I don't think I got the L.A. Rams right over here. I ain't never said it once. Man. Yeah, I, every time I say the Chargers, I, I always say San, San Diego. Diego. Okay, NBA news. We done with that. I got a situation, man. What's that mean? I love me the claw, man. I love me some Kawhi Leonard, man. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is going on with these games all so early in the year? It's bad enough LeBron started that shit taking games off. Now Doc Rivers is resting Kawhi Leonard early in the season, preserving him. What the fuck the NBA is coming to, man? See, I, I'm a throwback. I'm, I'm Michael Jordan. I'm Horace Grant. Mm -hmm. I'm Larry Bird, Bob Lanier, Artis Gilmore. These guys, Julius Irvin, they, Isaiah Thomas, they never took games off. Mm -hmm. It's bad enough they're playing the, the dream team card. Now you daying off in it? Big man, I need you to go in on this. I don't need you to go light. I need black coffee right now. <laughs> don't the, put no cream in raw it. Raw and uncut. Yes. The raw <laughs> truth. Please talk to my peoples. Give them what they need to hear. Because I'm not feeling this Kawhi shit taking games off at all. Talk to them, baby. I mean, as a fan, I'm not feeling it. But as a businessman, I got to feel it. I got to feel it because, shit, they got a game tonight if, I, if, I, if I'm not reckoning. They got to play tonight. yesterday against Milwaukee and, and then th Yeah, and I think they got a game tonight. They got tonight. a back-to-back. -back. I think they got a game tonight. I had to check the schedule, but I thought I saw it. But, I mean, Kawhi got the MVP all over the, the commercials and everything. So now he drank the Hollywood juice. You know, he, he, he the king of L.A. now. So now they're going to they gonna send him back. Show sure you the king of L.A. is not well, LeBron. Well, that's what they're trying to portray. I mean, yeah. I like the claw over LeBron at this yeah. moment. Yeah. Not old time at this moment, but I don't know if he's the king of nah, L.A. Well, according to last year, he is. He, okay. knocked down, he knocked down the Warriors. Right, right. And LeBron couldn't do it. Right. So he got to be the king. Now. LeBron did it one year. But he Him and Kyrie. It. And he had a great series, so I would say LeBron. Yeah. Kyrie came back down 3-1 and some yeah, bullshit. Yeah, all that bullshit. Some story okay, shit. Dokey, yeah, okie okay, dokie. <laughs> some story Trey shit. Trey Mark Green out for some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah, bullshit. some story shit. That's there all it is. That's all it is. But, yeah, I mean. Going on that for them. They're they, 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 they going to do that, and more and more players going to begin to do that. Devin Booker going to be next because he's the next superstar coming up. So everybody going to have their own little superstar where they just sit them out. I don't agree as a fan, but as a businessman, I mean, you got to. You got to take care of your product. Okay, this is my thing. You got to take care of your product. Me and you live in Vegas. Mm -hmm. We drive out to L.A. Mm -hmm. In your nice truck you got, nice black truck. Mm -hmm. Go out there, take us, what, four or five hours? Right. Get a hotel room. Mm -hmm. Eat good. Mm -hmm. Go to the game. Kawhi Leonard and Street Clover. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm over there to see fucking Kawhi Leonard. I'm a fan. I don't want to see Kawhi Leonard in Street Clover. As a fan, I want to right. see the claw on the basketball court. That's, that's right. where I get it fucked up at. Well, I mean, in you the still big... accepting that? No, not as a fan. Not you pay hundred dollars for the tickets, two hundred dollars for the tickets. I want to see the claw out there scraping. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see him on the bench cheering on the team. 
Fuck all that. Laughing and shit. Yeah, I want to see. I, if he played yesterday, they beat Milwaukee. For sure. They lost by five points without him in PG-13. For sure. I can't see that. I think it's horrible for basketball. Mm -hmm. I understand from the business aspect, I think you still wait to the end of the year to do that. Yeah, they got Portland. So they are on the back-to-back. -back. That's mm -hmm. why they sat him down. Mm -hmm. I'm still not feeling that. I think you can lessen his minutes if you want to take that route. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you lessen his minutes than he does not play the whole game. But they said that the NBA approved it. He fell in the, within the guidelines for him to uh, be sit out uh, yesterday. It was on the ticker. I did see that. So they're trying to tighten down on it. So the NBA has to approve it as well. So they just not sitting everybody. Right, right. I remember there was a time when I think Golden State and Cleveland sat like four motherfuckers on a Saturday night. The line night. was shifting and shit. And yeah, on a Saturday like, Oh, give me like, Golden State. It went from six to two. And motherfuckers know they know nobody was playing. Yeah, like what the fuck is that? Anyway, let's move on, man. College football. I told y'all motherfuckers, I'm going to hit everything today. I ain't yeah. playing with this shit. Yeah. Top six teams. I don't do ten. I do six. Okay. Somebody got sneak in. Uh, I'm going to give you my top six, then you give me your top six, and then we're going to come out with who we think is going to win it all. Okay. My top six team, I'm going to start with Georgia at number six at mm -hmm. seven and one. Only lost to South Carolina. They played down to their competition. I told people they were run all over Florida. They only won by seven. But if you've seen the game, they should have won by 14. Okay. Don't matter. They won. They covered. covered bottom line. Done. My fifth best team is Penn State at 8 0. I like Penn State. I think Penn State's showing the world they belong. I don't think they're going to win it all, but they're good enough to, to be talked about in the playoff run. Mm -hmm. uh, I will have to put my team, I think, to win it all. Clemson Tigers at four, only because strength of schedule has been weak and they haven't been tearing nobody up. So they haven't been showing us nothing. But I like that because Thabo Sweeney got everybody where he want them at, sleeping on them, and then that's when he come and start busting heads open. Mm -hmm. But that's yet to be seen. Number three is Alabama Crimson Tide. I had a problem putting them at three, but I'm going to put them at three only because I'm going to learn a lot this Monday night when they play LSU, the team who I got number two, the Tigers. Joe Burrow, that quarterback, is awesome. That Solid. Burrow cat is awesome, Solid. but we're going to learn a lot on no, Saturday night, not Monday night, Saturday night when they play each other. This has to be a closed game. Either way, either way, Clemson's going to move up a notch by default. By default. But I just think that... Uh, I think the standards I got are accurate in Ohio State at number one. Now, I want your top six before we, we, we predict who's going to win it all. I got to go at Ohio State just for popularity. Everybody love Ohio State. They got that DN out there. Yeah. Who's the Ohio only thing State. I don't like is the new coach thing. That's right. To put them number one. But they earned it. That's yeah. why I gave it to them because they, they can blowing have everybody out. They can have that number one shit, but yeah. they ain't going to win it all. Right. But uh, they're going to have, they gonna have uh, Ohio State, and then I'm going to go with LSU. Cause I think LSU going to be they going to handle them Bama boys. Uh, so we got them this Saturday. week. Yeah, we got them this week. I got them to cover the seven. You got them to win money. Line. I think they're going to win. Right, you got them to I win. Think right, they're going to win. I think okay. they're going to beat them. Remember, he the dog catcher. I, think I just win. I need the seven though, just in case yeah. on some Jaheim shit. Just yeah. in case I got them plus the seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I got to go with um, what who else in there? Who else uh, Bama, with? Penn State. Oh, Bama, Bama, Bama ain't going to make it. They ain't going to make it. They're going to lose twice. They're going to lose on Saturday, and then they're going to lose at the oh, end. Oh, wow. And then Even I, with Tua? Yeah, they're going to lose. Wow. I got to go with Penn State. Even after getting blown out in the chip last year? Mm hmm Sabian ain't coming hard? No. Nah. Oh, wow. No, nah, he going to crumble. Okay. Uh, Clemson? No, Clemson ain't going to make it. I go with Penn State. Penn oh, State. you like Penn State? I like Penn State. Okay, real quick. Tell the peoples who's your championship team coming out of college. Who's going to stand up at the podium at the end of the year? with the championship trophy. All right, quote me on this shit, guys. Quote <laughs> me on this. I put my work in on this one. Georgia Bulldogs. They wow. gonna come you in. You and my man Noah Parker. Noah Parker Georgia, liked them earlier Georgia season. Bulldogs. They're going to come in from the sixth seed. LSU and Alabama. They got Alabama. a lot of things that got to happen for them, though. Um, that's what's, it's a story. I'm okay. going to tell you the story. I'm going to break it down to y'all right now. Quote me on this shit. Okay. LSU and Bama going to cancel each other out. I mean, Bama going to lose to LSU. Bama got to play Georgia at the end and Georgia don't. 
If Georgia beats Bama at the end of the year, they're going to sneak in in the fourth spot. Right. If you got Georgia in there, you're going to have you're going to have Ohio State at the one seed. Ohio State is going to play Georgia. They got a story there. Prom was supposed to go up to Ohio State. There's a mm. story there. Okay. Okay. There's a story there, in Ohio, and Georgia going to beat Ohio State. That's what up, T. Wall. Georgia going to beat Ohio State, and they're going to play either Clemson. I'm sorry, they're going to play LSU in the championship. Wow. And, and Georgia going to win it all. Georgia Bulldogs versus the LSU Tigers. 12-1. to 1, Take them right now. Wow, so you even giving out the last two teams. I'm not going to go that far. No, I don't think so. I'm going to ride a Dabo Sweeney train. Uh, I love this coach. Every time people count him out, to me, he's the second best coach in football behind Nick Sabian. Absolutely. You have to give Nick Sabian the number one. Even if you feel Dabo is better now, mm -hmm. he blew out Alabama last year. Handling. And a lot of people think that their team ain't as good because they're not showing it on the field. On paper, they better. But on the field, they're not better. I think Tybo is going to get them up come playoff time. They got to sneak in. They will sneak in via default because LSU and Alabama, one of them going to knock each other out. Bama going. That's what I'm saying. One of them going to knock each other out. They, they got issues I'm going to roll with the Clemson Tigers on a repeat. All right. They might not happen, but I got to go with my gut. I cannot go against the Tigers and see that quarterback, Lawrence, whip ass, all through the playoffs, <laughs> and I'm there watching it saying, why I let big man talk me them out of that? dogs, man. The Georgia <laughs> dogs. <laughs> 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 All right, so he like the Georgia dogs with Noah Parker. I'm giving out the Clemson Tigers. Now, last but not least, our free picks of the day. Don't go nowhere. Me and Noah Parker are 15 and 12, which is not a good record, but at least we in, at least we in the black. We're not in the red. That's right. We had a couple of bad weeks last month where we went 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 0 oh and 3. But we're still 15 and 12. I don't know exact percentage of that. It might be like 53, 54, if I'm correct. But we will get better. So this week, I'm going to start with big man's dog catcher pick of the day, which don't count with our record because I know if he wins, that it will be unfair. Mm -hmm. But you're going to see what he's about. Then I'm going to give you my three picks. We got six minutes to get this done before we end the show Tell them who you like and why. You talking about today or just this week? No, no. Just underdog of the week. Oh, my underdog of the week? The one that don't make sense? Do yourself a favor. When you go pick up that sheet or you look at the uh, the board, the one at the top. The one at the top is the Chiefs versus the Titans. Mm. That's the first one everybody see. Okay. That's the one everybody going to think is easy as pie. Mahomes is back, right? First game back. Minus six? Three and a half. Oh, it went to three and a half? It's three and a half. It might shift to six, but it's at no, three and a half. No, I think I've seen six because of Mahomes, I unless could, he's not I got, playing. I got the spread. It's at three and a half. I could pull it up right now. Yeah, but why wouldn't you wait for the better number so you could get more of the kickback of the, of the if, money if line? It, if it shoots up because he's playing, they're going to beat him. Right. They no, but what I'm saying, history. you're yeah. cheating yourself out of oh, a yeah, lot yeah, of money. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to take it now. You know how I get out. Yeah, okay. Let me see what, what, is, see. what it's saying right see. now. Give us one minute, Let me see. But, uh... Yeah, that's my that's my game of the uh, of the week. Uh, the Tennessee Titans they got blew out, they got embarrassed, they couldn't come back last week. Now they're only now catching. you like them with Channing Hill because Mariota usually behind the helm. The last couple times they beat the Chiefs at the Chiefs. Oh, it's my favorite. It's the five guys. Okay, the so they went up death. to five. The kiss of death. So he's giving out the Tennessee Titans plus five on a big ticket. Yep. And what you say, put a quarter of the money, half of the money gotta, on the money line? Yeah, if you're feeling a little frisky, if you want to get cute with it, put a money line and, 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 and tie it with something. That's something you like. Right. With but, a high, strong favorite. But recommend the five mm -hmm. and maybe 20% of your bankroll on the money line. Yeah, take the plus five. Okay, plus five for the Tennessee Titans at home. At home. Versus Patrick Mahomes and the 6-3 and three Kansas City Chiefs. Take it. That's his pick. Okay. Book My pick, the first pick that we got, me and Noah Parker, we're taking the LSU Tigers plus seven at Alabama. We like them plus seven. Tua or no Tua, they will cover the seven. That's pick number one. Pick number two, we were fighting over it. We couldn't make up our mind. You need to shop around for this line. He might not like this pick. I like the Rams minus three at Pittsburgh. I just feel that two weeks off, that bye week, Aaron Donald's old playing grounds. Pittsburgh won a super lucky game against the Colts last mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. I just think the Rams at least win by three or more. 
for this game here. They're the better team. Ramsey's well back, so he's going to cover all the back end. Connor, I think, might even be out. So, you know, Steelers are hurting on top of going with their second string against the Rams, who are playing good and had a week off to prepare for this game. So I like the Rams at minus three. Don't get the three and a half. Shop around, find the three. There's a couple of books that got it at minus three. And my two-team seven-point teaser, I like bringing, uh, I like the Lions at Bears. The Lions are plus two and a half. We're going to bring them to plus nine and a half. Mm -hmm. And then you got the Ravens. If you shop around in nine and a half and a couple of books, bring them down to minus two and a half. So the two-team seven-point teaser looks like this. Lions plus nine and a half. Ravens minus two and a half. So for your three picks plus one, you got LSU plus seven. The teaser, Lions nine and a half. Ravens minus two and a half. The other straight play, Rams minus three. And his specialty, the Tennessee Titans. Uh, plus five at home against a team that they beat three straight times. Three straight times. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank my man Juice for coming on the Al York Sports Show. I told you Juice would deliver, a.k.a. the dog catcher. Shout out to Syndicate Radio TV, Noah Parker, Justin Yu, all the loyal fans, Zachary Rogers who just checked in. We love y'all. We continue and continue to check in to the Al York Sports Show. Love y'all motherfuckers.